Hey everyone, today's video is going to be all about finding a particular point on the map that you want to fly over with your plane. Along the way, I'll also share with you a few things that I've discovered about custom waypoints in the game since I've been playing with it, as well as how to remove custom waypoints from a flight plan. So I was recently curious to fly over my old apartment building to see what it looks like in the game. So I'm just going to set up a quick route from Point Cook over to Moorabbin right here. So to do that, I'll just click Add as Departure here, and I'll add as Arrival here. And my apartment building used to be somewhere in the middle here. Now, the problem is that the actual rendering of the map is pretty low quality, and you can't really tell where the rivers are, where any of the roads are. So it's near impossible to put a pin on the exact spot without some additional help. Unfortunately, the satellite view isn't really any help either because the quality of the satellite image when you zoom in just doesn't get any better. So for cases like this, what I'll do is I will head over to Google Maps to get the exact coordinates to punch them into the game. So as you can see on the image that I'm showing at the moment, all I did was I went to Google and I dropped a pin on the exact point where I want to fly over. That'll show a little screen at the bottom here with a set of coordinates. Then it's just a matter of copying these coordinates and plugging them into the game. And all I do is I plug them into the search box here. And you can see right away it's going to come up with a custom waypoint with those exact coordinates. So I just click on that. And now you see it's going to give me the option to add it to my flight plan. So I can just click Add. And I've now got a flight plan that goes from Point Cook to my custom coordinate where my apartment is down to Moorabbin. If I wanted to add more custom waypoints, I can do that as well just by dropping a pin and adding it to the flight plan. But it needs to be outside of the current flight plan area. So if I were to click here, it won't work. But if I were to click somewhere past the flight plan, it'll allow me to add it. It's very strange the way it works. I don't understand. It really seems like a bug to me. So let's just say I'll add one more waypoint here. And now I've got a flight plan with two custom waypoints along the way. But as you can see, I can't delete those waypoints from the game. So the trick to actually remove those waypoints if you don't want them is to save the flight and then go in and edit the actual flight plan. So I'll do that right now. I will save the flight so that I can show you what I mean. I'll put a link to the path where the files are saved by default in the show notes. Once you've found the file that you just saved, then you can just edit it by using Notepad if that's all that you've got. You can see there's a bunch of information in this file about your flight, but most importantly, what you're looking for are the ATC waypoints that I've highlighted that have custom written on them. Those are the waypoints that we've added. Now the problem is there's no easy way to know which one is which and they're not listed in any particular order either. In that sense, it's a bit of a guessing game and you have to really know the coordinates that you added to be able to remove the right one. So let's say you wanted to delete one of the waypoints. All you would do is you would highlight those four lines of that waypoint, just press the delete key and then save your flight plan. Once I've saved the changes to the file, all I've got to do is reload the flight plan. And at that point, my extra waypoint will be gone. So there you go. You can see now I've just got my first flight plan that I had with the single waypoint going over my apartment. Obviously, if you're going to be adding a lot of custom waypoints, it's going to be a little bit harder to manage this way. But for very simple flights like I'm setting up right here, it can be sufficient. Please make sure to hit like and subscribe if you got any value out of this video, and I'll see you next time.